Welcome to Treasure Trove. On today's episode, we're going to be exploring five blind boxes that all share a similar ocean theme. We have Ruby Princess here on the corner from MJ Studio. I don't know if all of the princesses really have an ocean theme, but some of them do, and I think the packaging really goes with this theme, so I am going to be opening this up, and maybe we'll get one of the ocean ones. And this is Kibby Lucky Koi Fish from CQ Toys. And then in the middle here, we have Repolar Marine Creature Series from Finding Unicorn. I think out of all of these, this is the newest series. It just recently came out and I'm so excited to see who I get inside. And here we have Yola Ocean Explorer series. And I'm not sure on the company name. I think it might be Yololi, but we'll have a closer look at that one. And then on the end here, I have Demu Aquarium series. So like every Treasure Trove episode, I'm super excited to give you my opinion and let you know if I would buy a second box at the end of the video after we went ahead and unboxed all of them. Is there a particular series out of these five you're most excited to see? I'm really excited to get into these and start unboxing. I think to start, I'm going to go for the Kibby Lucky Koi Fish one. I absolutely love the packaging for this one, the reflective gold lettering, and the little money coin. And I do love the Japanese style drawing of waves. The packaging for this one is really cute. I think I've opened a few things from CQ Toys, but not much. And here we have on the side the possibilities. So I'll show you what the secret editions look like. But up here we have the eight regular ones. So if you got a full case, you would get eight and two lucky edition possibilities. And in terms of the ones that I'm excited for, hmm, I think I really like the white and gold one. I believe it's the one on the front here. This one is my favorite one. I love the coloring, so I hope we get that one. I also like the black, pink, and white one with the hammer I think on the belly. That one looks cool. These two colors look all right. I don't think I'm a huge fan of the expressions on the blue and teal one or the coloring for this one. The one with leopard print is pretty funny as well. Is there a particular one on the side you would be excited about? Let's see. And I don't know if these come with a card or anything else, but we will see. And the bag is just really simple. On the front of it, it just says Kibby, and it says, let's Kibby together. That's actually really cute. And it looks like there's a little kind of bear logo behind it. And the pull tab is at the bottom. And let's go ahead and reveal who I got. One, two, three. Ah, I got the one I wanted. This one is so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. And there is something else in the bag. Oh, cute. It's like a little stand for the fish to go on, I believe. Let's open this up and have a look. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's very reflective. <laughs> I think it's a little stand. Yeah, it's a little stand. And there was a card inside. So here is the card for our Kibby. And this figure is beautiful. Even the little stand that it's on has a kind of opalescent shift to it. They're super, super reflective. I love the paint used on it. It is so pretty. And the other two colors that are used are really pretty. I like them offset with the sparkly white. And the face is really interesting for this one. I really like the face on this. I have seen some of these and I didn't quite like the face on them. But the face on this one is beautiful. And you can kind of see fish eyes at the top of the figure. And I'm not sure if it's blowing a bubble or what's coming out of its mouth, but it definitely has something in its mouth. And the cute lucky coin in gold on its belly is 
beautiful. I love the scale detail as well. And I think it has pretty good details. I like how the face isn't super simple. This figure is just really cute and I love how reflective and metallic it is. What do you think of this figure yourself? What a great start to treasure trove. Maybe I'll follow up and do the box on the end here. So this is Ruby Princess from MJ Studio and this is a super metallic beautiful green box. I love the box for this. And we can already see here on the side some of the options. So we have eight designs and one hidden edition. So we have four options here. And then on the back we have all the information about the series and then the other three options and the hidden edition. So the fourth one is the one on the front. So for this series on the side, you can only see seven and the hidden edition, and then the one on the front is the eighth one. And it looks like the one on the front is called Firmament. And then on the side here, we have Forest, Lava, and Strawberry, which seems a bit out of place. And the secret edition is the Ocean one, which is really cool. So these princesses seem to be pretty random. Let's go ahead and have a look on this side. We have Iceberg and Universe, Midnight and Rabbit. Is there a particular favorite you have? I really like Iceberg. The secret edition I'll put up on this screen, Ocean is so pretty. I'd be so happy if we got that one. I think Universe looks pretty cool too. I mean, this one looks awesome as well. I think the one for Rabbit is pretty funny looking. Oh, and Forest is beautiful. I think strawberry is pretty cute as well, but it's a bit out of place. This is definitely a weird series. I wasn't sure where to unbox this one. So because the packaging is so beautiful and ocean themed, I thought I would do it in this video, but it is a bit out of place. <laughs> but look at that packaging. It is so cool. All right, oh, and this figure is really small. Wow, from a box that big, this figure is a tiny. I guess some of these figures are probably pretty big, but the one I got is definitely a super small one. Uh, that's too bad, we definitely didn't get the hidden edition. This one is really not too elaborate, I don't think. Let's go ahead and open it up, one, two, three. Oh, oh, we got the one on the front. Oh, interesting. Oh, the wand looks like Sailor Moon. It has some tape at the bottom. So let me go ahead and take that out. And here is the card for our Ruby Princess. And this one again is called Firmament. I'm not sure if I remember what Firmament is, but the card is super pretty. I love how it has that same kind of metallic as the box. And let's have a look at Firmament. I really enjoyed the Sailor Moon wand, but it seems out of place with the rest of the character. We do have some clear vinyl details on the back. I'm definitely not a fan of the colors for this one. It's very beigey and kind of coppery bronze, which isn't my favorite. And the arms for this one, hmm, I think they look a bit weird. They're a bit skinny, especially considering the size of the feet. The feet look massive in comparison to the tiny little arms. Even the head looks tiny compared to those huge feet. The ombre on the hair is cute though. This looks like it could be an evil princess from the Little Mermaid universe, I think, maybe? It's definitely the eyes that are making it look evil though. <laughs> I think most of this series kind of looks like evil princesses. And let's go ahead and move on to our third one. And I think I'm going to do Demu Aquarium. So let me go ahead and move our cute little pucky I had up there. And here is Demu Aquarium. The box for this is really cute. It looks more like it's in coral than in an aquarium. Although I guess you could put coral in an aquarium. And standard Pop Mart, we have 12 options and one hidden edition. The hidden edition is a diver. It's the only one that is not actually a sea creature. And I think this is the worst one. I don't know. I think it's an interesting choice to do a diver though. So it is kind of like the rest of the collection, but kind of not. 
My favorite is a starfish. There's a polar bear. There's a penguin. There's a killer whale. This series is really cute. There's so many different cute and fun looking fish. There's even an oxalotl, which is super cute. Lots of fun sea creatures. I won't read off all the names for them though, because there's a lot of them. But let's see which one I ended up getting. I think for this series, I would be happy with whoever, but definitely like the killer whale or the oxalotl or the starfish are my favorites of this series. So let's go ahead and see who I got. One, two, three. Oh man, I got the anglerfish. This is probably my least favorite one. But the colors in person are so vibrant and bright though. And here is the card for our anglerfish. Just really, really simple. And I do enjoy the fact that this series has some clear vinyl detail on it and the actual vinyl itself for this one is kind of a soft matte. It's really buttery and nice to touch. Like the feel of this figure is pretty incredible. I'm a huge, huge fan of the vinyl texture for this one. I think it's really nice. The actual detail is all in the hat. The rest of the demo is pretty simple. I wasn't a fan of the angler fish one, but the vibrancy of this figure is kind of changing my mind. Even though it's a bit scary, the neon green is really cool. I don't think the clear vinyl part glows in the dark, but it might. If you know, let me know down below. I know there's a lot of cool features when it came to this series. And the question now is who do we open up next and who do we open up for last? I think because the Repolar one is the newest one, we'll open it last. So let's have a look at this beautiful ocean explorer. I love the pastel coloring and the art on the front of this. And it has a cute little holographic princess at the top, which looks really cool. I wonder if that's the brand logo. And if we have a look at the box, it's just really simple has this really pretty ombre. I do love the artwork details on it though. It's so cute. And I've never opened anything up from this brand before, so I'm not sure what the quality is going to be like. The pictures online, it did look like maybe the quality wasn't super great, but we will see. And it looks like we have nine options for this series. Oh no, it says up here there's 10 designs. So the one on the front isn't on the side. And there's two hidden editions and one surprise one. It says one surprise card. I think that might be a different colorway. This one looks the same as this one. So this is probably the different colorway. And these are the two secret editions. And these ones all look super cool. I absolutely love all the options. They look really neat. And I'll put up a picture of all of the secret editions and alternate colorways so you can see. Definitely the names for these are pretty cool. So is there a particular one that you are interested in? I think I like this one here. And I do like the seahorse one. And I love anything octopus themed usually is super cute. I love the vibrant colors. I'm so interested to see what the quality for these are like. Because looking at the side, I don't think there's a bad option. I think they all actually look really cool. So I'm excited to see who we get. Oh, and the bag for this is really awesome. Oh yeah, so definitely the name is Alila Toys. Oh, can you see how awesome this bag is? I love unique bags. And it says a studio name here as well, Libu Studio. I like how usually they put the name of the company on the bags. Makes it easy when you have a few names on the box. <laughs> a lot of people do this series in collaboration. I just love this bag though. Okay, I'm really excited to see now. One, two, three. Oh, look at this beautiful one. And I think this is the Quiet Seahorse one. 
Oh, I love this. Oh, this looks so cute. Okay, I'm gonna have a look to see if we have a card inside. And we do have a card inside. It says Ocean Explorer. And I'm not sure what the bubble font says, but this is the Quiet Seahorse one. This drawing is incredible. I love this card. It's just so awesome. The other side is really simple and boring though, but I think this side makes up for it. I love this little ocean scene. And what do you think about the design for this one? I think the design is really cool. I absolutely love the clear vinyl kind of wave and shoes on the figure. I love the coloring. The coloring is so cool, like on the hat, that pink and yellow and blue together. And it's holding this little kind of sea creature in its hand. The hands look really great. I think I like the size too. Like this is a pretty small box and I think the size of this figure is really good. This figure is just cool. I love when there's lots of clear vinyl. And I love the design. Like the design of these are so unique and the artist behind them isn't going very literal. I don't know if you would look at this and guess seahorse. But I think it looks like a quiet seahorse to me with all of the details. I definitely see the inspiration. The only thing I would say is the face. I think the eyes would be a bit better if they weren't screen printed on and they were painted on. I think screen printing on vinyl figures tends to look a bit flat, but I think from far away it probably still looks really good. Oh, this is such a cute figure. And what do you think about Ocean Explorer? I'm interested to see your comments about this one. And we are down to our last box, so let's move our little Demo Ocean Explorer over and let's grab this Repolar box. So this is the Repolar Marine Creature Series and the box for this is really simple, just blue all over. Not much on the side, although look at that cute little walrus there. I do love the front design for it and it says let's play with me and then on the side here you can see the options so for this series we have 14 options so there's 12 regular ones and then two secret editions and I was so tempted to get a full series for these again I really love sea creatures and these are really cute we have tons of different options seahorse, jellyfish, starfish, there's even a dolphin and Nemo and a seal. These are all really neat. Is there a particular favorite that you're excited about? I think my favorites are jellyfish because it has clear vinyl and starfish and the penguin is really cute. The dolphin one's a bit weird but I love the coloring. I think I'd be happy if we got starfish or jellyfish <laughs> so i'm excited to see who we end up getting for this one and here we go let's have a look finding unicorn always has really fun bags this is such a pretty color it just has hearts and has one of the little character faces and says finding unicorn it is pretty cute this figure is a tiny. Repolar figures are super small. But let's see which one I got. One, two, three. Ah, I got the starfish one. Oh, this one is really cool. Oh, I love it. And Finding Unicorn figures always come with a weight and a little tiny QR code for WeChat. And here is the card for our super cute starfish. I love the drawing for this one. And the starfish is super, super cute. I love the colors and I love anything that has a star face. I'm not a huge fan of shiny vinyl. I know some people are obsessed with it, but for me, I usually prefer Finding Unicorn soft touch vinyl, but I think it goes well with this figure. And I love this design a lot, so I'm not mad I got the Starfish Repolar. And the little bubble that Repolar always has looks really cute in the clear pastel pink. 
And the backpacks that they're all wearing are super cute. This one has a star backpack. And Repolar is supposed to be a polar bear if you didn't know. What do you think about this one? It's definitely simple, but I think it's super cute. And here is all five of our pretty sea creatures, under the water explorers and princesses. Do you have a favorite that I unboxed today? It's always so hard for me to choose what my favorite is for Treasure Trove episodes. Definitely, I do think it's going to be our Demu Aquarium Anglerfish. This is probably the least favorite from the aquarium series, like the least popular one. So I'm sure that isn't super shocking for anyone, but this is a super good series. But the reason why I've never unboxed it on my channel before was because I wanted to get a full case of it. I ended up getting two through a lucky bag, so I do have more of them to open, but I still want a full case. I love sea creatures. I love anything with an ocean theme. It's one of my favorite, favorite themes. So even though this is at the bottom of today's video, would I buy more of them? Yes, and I would buy a full case. And I think following up behind it is going to be our Ruby Princess. And I think for this one, it's just the coloring. I do like the theme. I think if I had gotten one of the other ones, I might have changed my mind. I definitely do like other MJ Studio figures over the Ruby series. So I'm kind of undecided, but I probably would buy more in the future. And then we have the top three. It's really hard for me to decide which one is better than the other. I think maybe in third place we have Starfish from Repolar and Finding Unicorn. The Repolar series is kind of repetitive in terms of series that Finding Unicorn does. It's definitely the most basic repetitive one. But this series is so cool. Even though the Repolar character is pretty repetitive, this one out of all of them has the most uniqueness between each figure. And I have to say, it is so small. I don't know if that's a pro or a con. I say for the price of these figures, it's a con. But the pro is if you're displaying it, it can fit into a really small display. I think this series would look so, so cute all together. I almost debated getting a full case of it because I love sea creatures that much. It's kind of like the Pop Mart Aquarium series. You can't go wrong with seals, polar bears, penguins. I definitely will be buying more boxes of this, and I already have one more to unbox that I have, but I definitely think I'll buy even more than that. This series is really cute. And in second place, it's going to be our cute little quiet seahorse. I love this design. I love this figure. It helps that we got a super cute one, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have minded any of this series. Definitely it's a smaller company, so the quality isn't the same as your Pop Marts or your Finding Unicorns, but I don't think I mind it. I think the uniqueness of the artist's design and all of the details draw me in. I think the only thing that's drawing me out is the flat eyes. I'm not a huge fan of screen printed eyes. I really like when they're painted on, but that's probably the only negative for this figure. I think I would buy a full case of this one just out of the uniqueness of the artist. This one is pretty hard to get. I got this from Kika Goods. I haven't seen it available anywhere else. And that brings us to our Kibby Lucky Koi Fish. And this is the winner for one reason and one reason only. Out of all the other series, I got really cute ones that I was really excited to get. But this was the one that I wanted the most and I got it. I love the traditional coloring of this. I love how pretty it is. I love the metallic sheen. The paint job is so well done, and I think this figure is absolutely cute. And I think it's the best one out of the whole series. Maybe the Secret Edition is cuter, but I don't know. I love this one. And for that reason, it's my number one. Now, would I buy more of it? No. 
for a series like this, I'm not that excited to get a full box of them. I usually just like getting one or two. I like about half of this series and the other half I'm not a huge fan of, but definitely the fact that I got the one that I love the most means that I don't really have any interest of getting another one. I like how the one that I rated the worst I said I would buy a full case of and the one that I rated the highest I wouldn't buy more of. And these are all of the amazing and cute sea creatures that I picked up today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Treasure Trove and you enjoyed hearing my thoughts and opinions about all of these series. Like always, let me know in the comments what your favorite was and what you thought about what I unboxed and I will see you on the next Treasure Trove episode. I hope you have a great evening.